Attention all stations, this is the test conductor, report system status. Support systems are go for static test. The A through D data systems are go. Low speed data systems are go. High speed data systems are go. Medium speed data systems are go. Motor temperatures are go for static test. Copy, we are go for Aries 1 first stage, DM1 static test. Okay, all stations are go for the static test of Aries 1 development motor number 1. T minus 3 minutes. Central support systems operator, turn off the AFSCART conditioning. Roger, AFSCART conditioning is off. Close-up view of the aft end of the rocket motor, the nozzle. T minus 145 seconds. High-speed data operators begin recording. Roger. All high-speed data systems are recording. Crowd is becoming focused on the rocket motor in the middle left in the distance. T minus two minutes. The low speed data operators begin recording. Roger. All low speed data systems are recording. And we have all of our data systems now recording ready to collect the necessary data. T minus 90 seconds. In a few moments the test conductor will authorize committing the motor and the test control coordinator will turn the firing T -minus key switch. T 80 seconds. Test control coordinator stand by to commit the motor. Standing by. T minus 70 seconds. Commit the motor. Motor is committed. The motor is committed and the T computer is in control. Seconds. Sirens are blaring. This test is go. T minus 50 seconds. T minus 45. The rocket motor is now armed. T minus 40 seconds. T minus 30 seconds. Sounds of a high speed camera. T minus 20 seconds. T minus 15. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, fire. We have ignition of the Ares 1 first stage five segment solid rocket motor. Plus 10. Amazing display of power. Plus 40. 22 million horsepower. Plus 50. Thank you. 
Service Operator, Enabling Field to Quench and Water Gathering System. Your audio is enabled. The Water Quench System is now being activated. Test 90, Enable Accumulator, Turn on Hydraulic Pump. Accumulator is enabled, Hydraulic Pump is on. Test 100. Test 105, Activate the Aft Gallery. Aft Gallery, Activate. Test 110, Activate the Forward Gallery. Approximately 10 seconds more. During the tail off here. Completion of burn, as expected. Now you see moving in from the right in the lower part of your screen the CO2 quench arm. It's like a large CO2 fire extinguisher to put out the fire on the nozzle and the internal components of the rocket motor so the engineers can see the condition that they were exactly at the end of firing. Very important for collecting the data that's necessary. Everything looked normal through the firing. It's approximately 30,000 pounds of CO2 that will be put through that arm into the rocket motor. There you see the beautiful northern Utah sky with a lot of dust. During the test, the flame exited the rocket motor out of the nozzle at about Mach 3, burned for approximately 123 seconds. And the temperature of that flame approached about 4,500 degrees Fahrenheit. This is approximately two-thirds the temperature of the sun's surface. At this temperature, steel does more than melt. It boils. And the sand that was placed around just aft of the rocket motor got hot enough to actually turn to glass. To recap, the NASA and ATK Space Systems team just completed the first firing of the Ares-1 first stage motor, Development Motor 1. There will be a news conference at 3.45 p.m. Eastern here on NASA TV. That concludes our live coverage of the Development Motor 1 firing. Thank you very much for joining us today.